What's up guys, Darren here from ECN and Reef. In today's video, I'm on my way to go and fetch a frag of Ultra Aussie Acans. Um, I'm also going to show you guys what to do when you get a new coral so that you don't pick up pests, nuisance algae, and also how to uh, climatize the coral properly to get it to the right temperature. Well, to get it to the same temperature of your tank as well as to make sure you match the salinity before putting it into your own system. I'll get back to you guys once I've got the coral. So we are back. Um, I already put the Aiken in the tank. Reason being is I went and fetched these Acros as well. There's a nice purple Walt Disney Acropora. Um, there's a Valadia. Not even sure if I'm pronouncing that properly. And then there's also, if I'm not mistaken, a yellow Acro. I also managed to get a little frag of Jacko Lantern Leptosaurus. Um, it's a Jason Fox signature coral. It is going to look really nice once it starts growing out and encrusts onto the rock. Over here, I'll move the bubblegum digi to the center of the tank. I think I'm going to move it somewhere else though. I'd rather prefer to put one of these new acros in the center and just have it, you know, the, the showpiece of the tank. So. I'm going to leave these corals float float for about 5 minutes. These, I would say they've been floating for about 5 minutes now. I'm almost 100% sure that the temperature of the water has matched the, the same temperature of my tank. I'm going to now take out the container. I'm just going to take out a little bit of water, um, put in some Seachem Reef Dip. I know that there's no pests on this because Andrew's tanks are super clean but you can never be too safe so I'll let it sit in some reef dip for a few minutes and while it's sitting in the reef dip I'm also going to just take some water out and slowly add some, some of my water just to acclimate the, the salinity. Alright so let's get to that. While you guys are, well while this is, while I'm waiting for the, the stuff to acclimate, I want to just show you guys some videos of Andrew's tanks. it's very very important to dip your corals um, you don't want to have any nuisance hitchhikers or nuisance algae or anything like that as you can see on this acro there I might be wrong but it looks like it um, there's one of those astria starfish so they're, they're not very very painful to have but they do breed very fast and they can be a little bit irritating 
to have in the tank because they just yeah, they just go on everything and I think they do eat coralline algae. Um, this is some of my tank water now that I'm going to put in here. And this I'm doing now, like I said, to slowly get the salinity balanced. As you can see, some of these plants have a little bit of algae on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very gently um, rub the plugs with a toothbrush, scrub it with a toothbrush. Um, mainly the plugs, obviously not the, the actual coral, just to get off any loose algae and stuff that I wouldn't want in my tank. Alright, the corals are in. I put the first acro right on top next to this other acro that I've got. Really got nice colors. I've put the Validia, however you pronounce it, over there, and then the Walt Disney I put over here amongst the Zoas. It's such a small frag, and I really, really hope it pulls through. Um, that's actually the coral that I was most excited to get. So, I'm going to show you guys here as well the awesome colors on this Aiken. Oh, that is going to look so nice once it grows out. Fang ear plates looking good. My orange one's been very, very temperamental lately. And this Favia. I can really see some growth on it. So, yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Please click the like button if you did. Subscribe. Um, I obviously want to make more videos um, and if you guys do like and subscribe it will motivate me to try and obviously get better and edit better and take better footage. Um, I didn't have my lens with me when I recorded um, Andrew's tanks but I will make the most of what I did get and yeah. Thank you so much for the people that have been watching my videos and for the guys that have subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. Cheers.